Hey, what's good, YouTube subscribers to Doc TV and all that good stuff? I'm back again doing another video. Um, this video is basically just going to be like music news, just little quick things to get out of the way. Um, talk about some things, express my concerns. You know, since I haven't done the Doc report like that, I'm getting back on it though, so it's going to be coming back. Also, thinking about doing the radio show again. We'll see about that. But uh, for right now, like you know, I got my people to talk about my my concerns and all that. So. I'm just going to lay stuff out there just for the fun of it, just for the hell of it, you know, since I'm feeling good this week because my birthday is coming up, get your birthday money together because, you know, it's my birthday, so give me something. <laughs> Anyways, um, just to talk about some crazy stuff, you know, the foolishness, of course. Alright, um, I don't know if y'all heard or not, but Zoom now is a Muslim now, or Muslim, how would they say it, Muslim, I say Muslim. Now, you know, he got the kufi and everything, and now his name, he got the beard, and his name is Amir Junaid Muhadid. I'm not good at, you know, the whole Muslim culture and everything like that. Um, I got a friend that's a Muslim, so, you know, I don't disrespect him. You know, also family member, too. But, um, it makes me wonder, though, like, to, like, nowadays, I don't know who's Muslim for real and who's just who just want to be Muslim, like, in Philly, you know, I know all about Philly for real, because that's like my second home, so, always know about Philly, you know, Freeway, you know, he's Muslim, he got the beard and everything like that, people in Philly, though, like, people walk around with the beards, though, but they're not Muslim, though, they just got it for the hell of it, and, and then, you know, you can tell who the real people with Muslims going, because they got the, I don't want to say skirts, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't want to disrespect anybody, so I don't know the correct terminology, but you know, the things you wrap around, and you still have your pants on, though, and you know, you got the kufi on, so, you know, and the, um, the thing, the thing, I don't want to disrespect anybody, so that's why I'm saying, you know, thing, but, you know, I'm going to do my research, though, next time, but, you know, you got people that do that, so you don't know who's really Muslim, or what, like, like, not even putting your body out there, but even gay dudes, for real, got the things, got the beard and all that so you don't know who's really Muslim for real who's just got it got the beard just for a fashion statement or whatever so that's how it really is in Philly and it's not really that big down here in VA for real but in Philly it's like everywhere for real and all uh, so that's Zoom so you know I gotta talk about him because he's a former bad boy artist and you know I rep the BBE so you know he um yeah Loon you know on the double dutch bus and everything but doing the Muslim stuff, so, that got that popping up, with Loon, um, another thing is, Keisha Cole, gotta talk about Keisha Cole right now, um, it's not a person on my radar, like, I, I like Keisha's album, I love her album, uh, Different Me, in stores right now, pick it up, I love it, very different style of Keisha, so, you know, because she got the love side, she's not talking about, she should have cheated and all that, and, you know, all that other good stuff, so, you know, it's good to hear the love inside of Keisha. But I'm concerned about her single choices. Um, I had this concern with Janet, with even Beyonce, like, even Britney Spears, like, I had concerns with sep with different artists that come out with singles, and it's like, well, and Mariah Carey, of course, that come out with singles that's like, why you come out with this single when you got better choices? You know, I know it may be a good look now, but you have better choices. You know, even sometimes the better choices don't end up being hit. So, you know, I can see where that cross fades right there. But with Keisha in particular, her album, almost platinum, you know. But someone pointed it out on the internet that Keisha is, like, getting by on this album. Like, it debuted at number two, you know, big numbers. Still, you know, was in the top ten for a minute, for a long time. But, at the same time though, like, Play Your Cards Right was not a hit, You Complete Me was not a hit, and Trust Us her next single. Here's my whole theory on everything now. You know, the last album hits out the ass because she had Let It Go, which was a surprise hit to me. Like, I was surprised it became like a big hit as it did. You know, especially on the Billboard Hot 100, it peaked at number 7, so, you know, her first top 10 solo hit. You know, other than the joint she had with Diddy last night. So, you know, she had that top 10 hit. You know, I remember big hit. Uh, she'll let you go. Minor hit, but still big, though. Um, and then 
Heaven Sent, like that was a real big hit too. So you know, she had those hits right there. And you know, number ones, you know, all the time on the R&B charts. But then you get to this album, and you have Play Your Cards Right as the first single. Like, I'm gonna still say this to this day. When she decided to come out with that as the first single, I was like, why are you releasing the old song that you had on Pac's last album? But, and it's still, and it's, I kind of got into the song later. It's, it's a hot little vibe and everything, but at the same time, it's not first single material. I, I understand you want to respect Pac and, you know, you know, like, pay homage to him and everything like that, but still, it's like, the song is not first single material, and for Ron Fair to choose that as the first single, like, that's not a good business move, really, because the album did its thing, it's selling numbers, but still, the first single should be, like, that bam, you know, that you just throw it in people's face and people just eat it up and it's just like this big thing, but it wasn't, I didn't feel that way with Play Your Cards Right, like I did with say, I changed my mind from like, you know, the way it is album or to, you know, um, let it go from the last album from um, Just Like You, so, you know, Keisha did, you know, did that and then You Complete Me, she didn't start really promoting it until like last month because she was on Jay Leno last month and the single's not really doing that good for real. I mean, of course, Keisha's singles always do good on the R&B side of things, but never really on the pop side, on the top 40, you know, or the rhythmic side like that. But, you know, You Complete Me, you know, it's doing its thing. I like the song. You know, I love it. And then you got Trust. That's when that single mom, because she just shot the video this weekend in Atlanta. And it makes me wonder, like, all right, Trust... It's a good song. I can see people eating that up on R&B radio, but, you know, there should be a point in your career that you should want to expand your audience. You know, not saying you got to neglect the people that you already have fans of, but at the same time, you have to, like, you know, step outside the box and do something different, not just because it's the cool thing to do, but because you want to be able to reach other people than just your core audience. You want to be able to reach the masses. And, I feel like Keisha got Joyce on this album to do that, like, please don't stop. That could be an instant hit right there. It, um, on rhythmic radio, urban radio, pop radio for player two. Um, they did they did that with Let It Go. That's the last, well, Heaven Sent was playing on pop radio too, so, you know, those are the two pop hits. But when you got, like, This Is Us, like, that's pure top 40 written all over it. Top 40 radio will eat that joint up really so I mean if anybody from Interscope is looking at this or uh, Geffen you know those are the joints I need to release please don't stop you know even beautiful music this is us like those are the joints brand new like that's my joint you know exotic I mean erotic that was supposed to be the third single and people loving that joint but I mean change it to trust so you know Ron Fair I guess they know what they're doing man and you know Keisha I guess they know what they're doing and um, I don't want to talk any more bad because Nephi, you know, I'm one of her followers on Twitter and, you know, I don't want her to, and I'm her friend and, you know, and subscriber on YouTube, so I don't want her to look at my video and be like, you talking slick about my sister and all that, so I don't want to, I don't want no problems, so, you know, I'm going to end it there, but like I said, you know, Mary J. Blige had the same problem with her last album, you know, Growing Pain, she decided to try something different, and it worked out the first go, but then, kind of slack on the second single, you know, we know how that thing turned out, Chris, you know what I'm talking about if you're watching this, so, you know, that's what, not a video, not a day, and all that, but, that's that, and, um, let me check my time real quick, I know I gotta check this time, for real, alright, I got a good few seconds real quick, but I'm gonna talk about one more thing before I leave, Beyonce fans, Beyonce started the Ion Tour in Canada, I saw some of the performances, I don't want to look at too many, because I'm going to the concert when it comes here in the summer, but, I just realized something. People hate on Beyonce, but the only reason people hate on Beyonce are because of her stands. Her stands make you want to hate Beyonce, but I still love her though, but her stands are out of control. Like someone named Dead Cycle on, on their screen name on ATRL. Crazy. That's why people don't gravitate towards Beyonce because her stands make you want to hate her, but still love Beyonce though, and everybody loves Beyonce. So that's the end of this video. Doc TV, subscribe, check it out. Bye.